Police commonly use a LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, to record the speed of vehicles. The speed gun, or LIDAR, relies on the principle of time of flight of two light pulses. A laser sends out a short pulse of light and simultaneously starts a clock. The pulse is aimed at a reflective part of the vehicle, usually the number plate. The reflected pulse, when received by the LIDAR unit, stops the clock, so the time of flight of the pulse can be determined. The distance from the unit to the vehicle can be calculated by a change in position, delta x, equals the speed multiplied by the time interval, divided by 2, where v is the speed of light and delta t is the time for the return trip. The factor of 2 is needed since the pulse makes this return trip. Approximately 7 nanoseconds later, the process is repeated and a new distance determined. The speed over this extremely short interval can be calculated by dividing the difference between the two distance measurements, that is, the distance the car travelled between successive readings, by the time between the two measurements, in this case 7 nanoseconds. Let us look at one possible source of errors in the readings. We know the speed of light is finite at 3 times 10 to the power of 8 metres per second. It takes a finite time for the light to travel from the LiDAR unit until it reaches the car. Meanwhile, the car has moved a little closer to the LiDAR unit. Knowing that speed is distance divided by time, if the distance is reduced, then the speed measured will be higher than the actual speed. Let's assume that the car is travelling at 100 km an hour, or 27.7 metres per second. We can approximate this to 30 metres per second, or 3 times 10 to the 1 metres per second. So light is travelling at approximately 10 to the 7th times faster than the car. This means that any positional error introduced by the speed of light is negligible. To provide a numerical example of the distances involved in these measurements, consider the following situation. At 100 km per hour, the car moves only 1.9 times 10 to the minus 11 metres during the 7 nanoseconds between pulses from the LiDAR unit. Indeed, this is a very small distance, which introduces negligible errors into the speed measurement when you are fined for exceeding the speed limit. The next time you're in a car and you see a policeman on the side of the road with a LiDAR gun, you should have a better understanding of how it is being used to determine your speed.